eight newly enlarged Spanish army. The pike stands have been added to the infantry at the rear and the writers are formed on the army's left flank. Here's one of my um, upgraded infantry units. Um, as you can see, the, uh, the crossbows and uh, arquebusiers from the older units that had swordsmen in their centers are exactly the same. And in the middle, I put my new pike blocks. So three miniatures at the front from uh, Foundry and six pikemen at the rear from Casting Room Miniatures. Flags in this case are from a chap on eBay, does a very nice uh, sheet of Renaissance Spanish flags. Um, and there we are. So that's the new look infantry. Here are all four of the new pike blocks together. Um, as you can see, I've split a foundry command group uh, between two stands. So uh, each one got one of the priests, one of the drummers, and one of the flag wavers. For the pikemen themselves, they're mostly plate mail. But I gave them, there we go, red and yellow striped trousers to, um, oh, got some basing material on him by the looks of it. Never mind. Um, red and yellow striped trousers and I uh, I kept it kept each stand the same but I varied the which side got red and which side got yellow uh, so this is uh, red on the right and this one is red on the left so there's two of each So, very pleased with how those turned up, turned out. Get rid of that bit of grit. Gone. There we are. Spanish Pike. And here's one of the previous infantry centre bases. Um, same command group at the back, you can see. Uh, these are now uh, reconfigured as um, swordsman bases. So, um, because they were conquistadors, they don't they aren't restricted to just red and yellow. Um, I gave them more of a more of a, a colour variety, but still got a uniformity of army, I think. So here's um here's an existing set of six swordsmen and slide them across. Here's one of the ones, the two bases with um with the dogs. So now I've got uh, let me see seven seven units of swordsmen and then the final two new units were the writers All these, although these are, are two units and will work independently um, I did mount the command pack all together because I just thought it looked better um, and the troopers all together because again, it just seemed, I don't know, I mean, maybe a flag and a trumpeter on one base and an officer on the other didn't seem particularly right to me. So uh, there we go. So that gives me my full 18 units of Spanish. Here's my English army with its additions. Um, let's start with the archers at the front here. Four units of archers. Metal Hokahe figures, available from Timeline Miniatures. Um, originally I planned for six on a base, but I thought six didn't quite give the density I wanted, so I went to Casting Room Miniatures and I bought a pack of English Command. Uh, so I got an officer added to this base, there's a guy at the back, as you can see obviously, the one without the bow. Um, so they get a commander. And then uh, it meant this unit could get a standard bearer, which meant another flag for the army, which is always a good thing. Flags are from eBay. Um, this pack here, base here rather, this also got a flag, standard bearer, 
aber the black view again kept to the army colors of everyone else and uh, and then the last uh, the last base has another officer um this left me two drummers that i didn't use uh they might find a place somewhere else but probably won't i can't think of where i'd need them tudor style drummers just yet but you never know things might get even bigger here's a comparison with the um the hokahe figures against my existing foundry archers um these are foundry and obviously okay so I'll try and line them up base base um size wise i think very good very good match so um but again foundry didn't have the variety of poses or dress that i really wanted for separate units and the second editions were cavalry four units of cavalry again okay hey figures available from timeline miniatures these are the border reavers um every base here managed to get a flag which is good uh nice and chunky again this made from two family packs of border reavers uh with the figures mi mixed and matched and you know um the uh the four lances were removed and turned into standard bearers nothing wrong with lances of course at the time um but flags are just better aren't they yeah and the last knot here the march warden at the end there we go um so that's it that gives me 18 units of english and uh and a fairly formidable force it must be said here we are at shaky cam for the uh for the overall sort of overhead shot of the whole army my scottish army was the one that caused this enlargement in the first place it was because i wanted to paint up the rest of the uh, mounted figures in the uh, hokahe range um, for the border reavers that i um i went ahead and added these uh, eight units of cavalry to it so these are all 28 mil miniatures again they're from uh hokahe figures which are available from timeline miniatures and they are four groups uh, or four families of reavers because you get six in a pack they've all been mixed in together and i didn't keep to the family groups and um everyone that had a cast on lance had their hand drilled out and some of them let's start with this chap some of them um had it replaced with a wire spear to to be a lance and then like the guy next to him it was replaced to be a standard bearer this is the march warden on the end here um so i added what did i add four flags well, yes four three flags i added three flags to the army with this lot and uh, i think i can see one two three lances um no point dwelling on these greatly because they are um almost identical really I mean they're a mixture they are all different poses but they're they're the same uh, you know they're all in the same ballpark as it were and i think they look very fine uh so combined with the two cavalry uh, i already had that gives me 10 units of horse for the uh, for the scottish and here are my landstecks well not all my landstecks because i've lost one of the bases of uh, arquebusiers somewhere it's uh, it's in this room but uh, i've been through as many drawers as i can uh, i can comfortably get to and i can't find them anyway here's the army on wobbly cam fully enlarged to 18 units um let me just pan across so somewhere in here 
are the missing are the missing uh, arquebusiers. I think I will just buy some more and paint a new base of four. That should ensure that the old ones turn up immediately. Here's everything shuffled around with the uh, new additions to the front. As you can see, quite a proportion of the uh, the army uh, is new um, because I went for new infantry. So let's start at the front. I've got three new units of gendarmes. These are metal miniatures from casting room miniatures. Big chunky horsemen. Flags are from First Corps. Um, hefty holding these out at arm's reach. Brightly coloured so they fit in nicely. So there's uh, some lances there, some lances here. And then a command stand, although of course each base is a separate unit, but that's the uh, There we go. So that brings the uh, the gendarme complement up to five units of heavy cavalry. I also did two uh, two bases of uh, Landshake looters. These are from Warlord Games. Metal miniatures again. Um, these are the morale base bases, but I mean they just they're a uh, they stand as a sort of status for the army so at the beginning of each game both armies roll a dice um, and the highest roll um, is deemed to have uh, better morale at start so they'll have their morale base in view and every one of their units will have an extra um, hit point basically so they'll have 16 hits instead of 15. Um, not a huge benefit but it can sometimes make the difference so here we go various land sex grabbing chests, captive women, and uh, general baggage. And then I did uh, three more units of infantry. The infantry, the uh, the backbone of the Landshake army. So each infantry is made up of two shot wings. These are arquebusiers. These are foundry arquebusiers. And a center base of, uh, of pike. Again, these are foundry, metal miniatures. Flags are from First Corps, again. Um, it's one of the old ones of these that I've misplaced. So uh, there we go. And again, the Archibuses are really just markers for the game because um, infantry in one-hour war games, uh, it, it can shoot uh, and it can't engage in melee. It can't instigate melee until it's run out of ammo so every time you shoot you roll a d6 if you get one or a two you run out of ammo and in that case we remove the shot element and um, you can now march your pike forward and uh, sorry get a hand in my march your pike forward and uh, engage the enemy now we did find in a couple of games this gave um quite odd situations where uh, an infantry couldn't advance to aid one of its friends because it still had bullets left but it couldn't shoot because its friendly unit was in close combat so we've decided that you can willingly retire your shot um, but you won't get them back again so you can kind of willingly run out of ammo and then you'd be allowed to move in so um, all right so for the pikes as I say foundry miniatures um, flags from first core again metal pikes lovely come with the miniatures from Foundry, which is always lovely. Don't have to source your own, but of course, if you need to source your own, um, I think nearly everybody else gets them from uh, North Star uh, miniatures. So, okay, so there's one of those, one there. Oops, sorry for the arm. Then we can grab another pair and the second one. Here we go, again, you know, random placement of, uh, of arquebusiers so they'll all get mixed up um these are all the new arquebusiers i did the old ones are in the at the back there in the army but in a in a game they'll all be mixed up so that's the second unit of infantry and 
and the third one. Whoa. Which gives me seven altogether. Infantry are good, versatile, hard hitting in this game, so um, the land checks really are packing quite a punch now. And uh, and that's it. That's all four of my surviving Renaissance armies increased to 18 units. Next up for my Renaissance project, I'll be doing an Ottoman Turkish army. Um, I'll probably wait until next year to start that. I might not. I might decide sooner. All the figures are bought sitting in a in a box waiting to go but I've got some sort of smaller things to to do in the meantime. I'm currently I'm painting up some more Crimean Russians. Uh, so for the moment again that's once again the end of uh, of my Renaissance update. Many thanks for watching um, especially if you got this far. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment um, and please join me in the future for the um, for the Ottoman army video. Look forward to seeing you there.